Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
graduates, please remain standing. And I iho iho a na manga fakahi, na mata waka o na topita kato o te ao. Toya mai o koto waka kia fakanui e na akonga. Ka fakafia fia kia rato tohu e teneira. No mai ki taharenga waka, tena koto, tena koto, tena koto kato. Thank you to our trumpeters, Nina Noble, Clark Spence and Isabella Thomas, with Ben Kennedy on the organ for their performance of Processional Fanfare by Douglas Lilburn. We're now going to sing the national anthem. The words appear on page 84 of your program and on the screens. The singing will be led by Samuel McKeever, who graduated this afternoon with a Bachelor of Music from the New Zealand School of Music, Te Kōki. Ben Kennedy, who is completing a Bachelor of Music at the New Zealand School of Music, will provide the accompaniment. Will the rest of the audience please stand and welcome Samuel and Ben. Good evening and welcome to this graduation ceremony for the Wellington Faculty of Education, Tefano O Akapai, and the Wellington Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences, Tawahanga Aranui. I would also like to acknowledge His Worship the Mayor of Wellington. Andy Forster, who's joined us this evening. I'm Professor Wendy Lana. I'm the Provost of the University, and I am delighted that you are with us to celebrate the achievements of your Fano member, friend, or colleague. As well as being proud spectators, you are also formal witnesses to these official proceedings. 
I would now like to introduce you to the Chancellor of Taharanga Waka, Victoria University of Wellington. This is a role that dates back to the Middle Ages, when the first universities were established. The Chancellor is the Chair of the University Council, which is the governing body responsible for setting the university's strategic direction. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chancellor, Neil Pavia-Smith. E nā mana, e nā reo, e nā iwi. Nā mātā waka o tamotu, koto nā ākonga ka whakanuia e tēnei rā. No mai, hari mai, piki mai ke tēnei hui whakapumo. Toia mai o koto waka ki te hiranga waka. Tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā koto ka toa. Talofa lava, maloa lele, kia rana, Fakalofa lahiatu, Taloha ni, Ni sabula, Ni hao, Hu an ying. And as it is the evening, Good evening. My warmest greetings to you all on this special day of celebration. I'm so pleased to be here to share it with you, our students, and your friends and families, and of course our staff. And I also extend special welcome to His Worship, the Mayor, Andy Foster. The university has a special relationship with the city, so it's great you can be here. This is a special celebration made somewhat poignant by the fact that we are one of the few places in the world where we can join together en masse. Graduation ceremonies recognize the formal conferment of degrees, diplomas, and certificates as well as enabling us all to celebrate the achievements of our graduates. So thank you for being part of this graduation ceremony. Everyone is looking fantastic. I think the fashion retailers and hairstylists and florists have done a roaring trade. And it's wonderful to see you enjoying this important day. Greetings also to those of you who are celebrating with us this evening overseas. Our celebration in Wellington has brought the city alive with the vibrant colour and sounds of thousands of graduates parading through the streets earlier today on a typically calm and pleasant Wellington day. <laughs> Thank you for joining us through our live stream. It is an honour and a privilege to be the Chancellor of, the, of Te Hiringawaka, Victoria University of Wellington and to preside over graduation ceremonies which are always memorable and colourful events. These are one of the highlights of the year for the university community. Now we have a lot to celebrate given all that you have experienced in recent times. Your studies over this past year were significantly disrupted by COVID-19, interrupting courses, changing the way you had to study and conduct your research, um, and adding stress and uncertainties to what you normally experience as you seek to finish your studies. I acknowledge all of you for your perseverance and patience as you and our staff and the university had to rapidly change the way we operated. While we are fortunate to be here in New Zealand, I want to also recognise the impact the global pandemic has had, in particular on those who have family and friends overseas and also those who have lost loved ones. I invite you all to join me in taking a quiet moment to remember and acknowledge everyone who cannot be here today, for whatever reason, to witness their loved ones graduating. Thank you. Today, you take another step to join our university's proud history and create some of your own. The university was founded in 1897, and in that first year of teaching, we commenced with 115 students in temporary accommodation while the city made up its mind where the permanent campus would be located. Today, the university has more than 22,000 students from over 100 countries. Yet, you share much in common with those first students of the university. 
Then, as now, the university held a central role in the intellectual, civic and social life of our capital city. And our students enriched the culture and vibrancy of Wellington, making it a better and livelier place for all of us. From the Kelvin campus, through to our campus at Pipitea and Tiaro, and not to mention, of course, where you will all be celebrating later on, the faculty of Courtney Place. <laughs> the university is truly cosmopolitan in composition and approach, and is globally connected through both our students and our research. We are also proud to be the university with the very first Marae on any university campus, a Marae that stands at our heart. The name of our Marae, Te Hiringa Waka, is also now the Maori name of the university. It means, literally, the gathering of canoes. The Marae and wider university are places where everyone, no matter where they are from, can hitch their canoe and belong before setting off into the world, still connected to and supported by the university. This evening, we celebrate you, our graduates. We recognise your hard work, passion and commitment. We acknowledge the challenges you have overcome with tenacity and endurance. You've experienced challenges but worked out how to get through and succeed. And I'm not talking about walking up the terrace in a strong southerly or a northerly. Graduation is a time for you to reflect on what you've gained from your studies. Completing your qualification is a great personal accomplishment, but I'm sure you'll acknowledge the personal growth that you've experienced in your time here. As you leave to start the next stage of your journey, you're not only well equipped with knowledge, but also the personal skills necessary to make a valuable contribution to your chosen field and society. Every one of you has contributed to building our knowledge and understanding of the world around us. And every one of you has the opportunity now to con contribute that learning to creating a better place for all of us. This time of COVID has taught us some interesting lessons. It's reminded us of the power of science and research, the power of truth, and the power of community. Every element that has contributed to our success, from hand hygiene to collaboration on vaccine development, from communications to psychology, has benefited from the pursuit of knowledge. We're a diverse community, and that diversity is our strength. It provides a breadth of knowledge and perspective that can make our understanding of opportunities and challenges so much more robust. By bringing our knowledge together, we amplify our ability to succeed. Nga tō roro. Na taku roro ka ora ai te iwi. With your food basket and my food basket, the people will thrive. That diversity includes those here who are the first to graduate in their families, those who came to us straight from school, and those who never got the opportunity to study when they were younger, and those who also travelled afar to Wellington from their home countries to study. You now emerge as proud alumni of Victoria University of Wellington. And you all have a special contribution to make, especially to share your experiences and learning with those around you, young and old. Encourage and support people to break through any barriers they have to learning. Share the joy of knowledge wherever you go. Let them know that here, at your university, the door is always open to you and your friends and families. In joining our family of alumni, you're joining a global community of inspiring people succeeding in all walks of life, from those who support our communities quietly behind the scenes, to world-leading researchers, governors general and prime ministers, Nobel laureates, and even an astronaut. You're graduating from an outstanding university. We have first-rate academics producing world-leading research. Now, of all the universities in New Zealand, we are ranked number one for the intensity of high quality research. That means we have the highest proportion of academics conducting high quality research of all the universities in the country. We're the only university to twice come out on top for this main measure of research excellence. In the past year, our academic staff had their best year ever 
from grants from, for grants from the government's Marsden Fund or for Blue Skies Research, including ambitious and transformative research on some of the biggest issues of our time. And we are collaborating with some of the most prestigious institutions around the world, from Harvard University to the University of Cambridge and Australian National University, to name a few. Our researchers have played a crucial role in a huge range of research, including into COVID-19 vaccines, em em empowering rural communities to reduce the barriers to cervical cancer screening, melting ice sheets and environmentally friendly transport. And just recently, our Dr. Cornwall won the Prime Minister's McDiarmid Emerging Scientist Prize for research on the impacts of ocean acidification on marine organisms. Now, in terms of global university rankings, you are graduating from a university ranked in the top 2% of more than 18,000 universities worldwide, and now ranked in the top 1% across 20 subject areas. While it's your experience at university that you will remember most clearly, I do want to reiterate, reiterate the pride you should feel in graduating from a university that really is amongst the best in the world. To our humanities and social sciences graduates, you are part of an outstanding faculty which consistently performs strongly in New Zealand's research rankings. Humanities and social sciences subjects rank in the top 1% worldwide in the recent QS World University rankings, reaffirming this university's top performance in the arts, humanities, and social sciences. To our education graduates, the Wellington Faculty of Education ranks in the world's top 100 faculties of its kind. This is a reflection of the research and teaching strengths, which span undergraduate teacher education through to advanced postgraduate professional programs. You can be assured that your qualifications stand you in great stead for a rewarding career ahead, sharing your knowledge with the next generation for years to come. To all our graduates here, I'd like to note the importance of the skills and knowledge provided through your studies. In a rapidly changing world of disinformation, fake news, partisanship, society needs critical thinkers and people asking why more than ever. It was actually senior Microsoft executives who recently noted that as computers behave more like humans, it's the social sciences and humanities that will become even more important for critical, philosophical, and ethics-based skills. The humanities and social sciences are crucial to this university's vision of cultivating engaging global citizens with well-developed skills in critical reasoning and communication. Now, while all of that's impressive, I encourage you to reflect on what you've gained from your studies. The university boldly aspires to be a world-leading capital city university and one of the great global civic universities, which means our campuses not only live in the world, but they seek to better it. Our university engages with different ideas and issues and does not shelter students from them. It's a feature of our students that when you see the need for change, you consider the issues and potential solutions and confront the problems in all their complexity. So as you now move on from university, it's you who are the emerging leaders that we turn to as we seek to navigate a world and a future that is changing so rapidly from the impact of the pandemic, serious environmental threats, globalization, new political movements, and rapidly changing technologies. Your education sets you up well to tackle these challenges. Don't be afraid to imagine match your actions with your dreams, and stay true to your morals and community aspirations. Take what you have gained from this university and use those attributes wisely. Your qualification provides you to a, with a platform to success in life and in business. But in my view, it's the interpersonal and communication skills that you've acquired and your leadership abilities that will serve you strongest. There will be great successes, and there'll be many challenges. But whatever your future, I urge you all to make the most of your life ahead. And as you do, 
I hope you're able to look back on your time at this university and in Wellington and recognise how it changed you as a person. You may not know where the future will take you, but as you go, your university will be there with you. And we hope and expect that as a member of our alumni community, you'll be there for us and the generations of students who now follow. Before I conclude, I would like to acknowledge all the supporters of our graduates here this evening. The parents, grandparents, spouses and partners, siblings, children, friends. Your support, patience and guidance is hugely appreciated. Many of you will have been there providing support at difficult times. Many of you have made great sacrifices to support and help your loved one. And many of you will just simply be relieved that this evening has finally come. <laughs> Graduates, will you please join me in thanking your families and partners and children and siblings and friends who have helped pave the way for you through to today. Thank you, and I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the dedication, contribution and efforts of the university's academic and professional staff. The University Council knows very well how hard you have all had to work over the past year, in particular as you had to adapt very rapidly to teaching so disrupted by COVID-19. Thank you for your perseverance and support of our students into advancing even further our excellent reputation for research. I salute you for your commitment and I invite our graduates and all those present to join me in our appreciation. So graduates, stay connected to us, come back as you need to and keep in touch. You're part of our long history and we're here to support you as you now contribute to creating the future of the world around us. You've earned the success, so take some time to enjoy it. May you look back on this day and this time with pride and happiness and a feeling of great fulfillment. Congratulations, good luck. I wish every one of you success, good health and strength in your endeavours as proud alumni of Te Hiringawaka, Victoria University of Wellington. Nore rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, ki ora, ki a kaha, tēnā koutou katoa. The Chancellor will now recognise the graduates as listed in the graduation programme. Will all the degree, diploma and certificate graduates please stand up? Yep, that's all of you. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting a long time, especially your parents. I, Neil Pavia-Smith, Chancellor of Te Hiringawaka, Victoria University of Wellington, would like to formally recognise the persons whose names are entered in the presentation of graduates, the degrees, diplomas and certificates there appearing, and confirm they have been admitted to these degrees, diplomas and certificates in this university. Congratulations to you all, and as graduates, you may now put on your trenches. Graduates, please be seated.
We will now move on to honouring the graduates listed in your programme. Each graduate will be called to the stage to be congratulated, beginning with the award of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Please refer to page 74 of your programme for a summary of each doctoral candidate's work. The Vice-Chancellor, Professor Grant Guilford, will read the summaries. The Chancellor will congratulate these graduates. Chancellor. Research is the backbone of a university and one of the most significant contributions we can make to society. Doctors of philosophy achieve academically at the highest level. They can be proud that their research has provided answers and insights to some of the major questions and problems that society faces. These scholars have helped us understand the past, the present, and in many cases, lit the way towards the future. They have truly displayed the attributes of critical and creative thinking, intellectual autonomy, and independence of thought that we seek in all graduates to ensure that they become active and engaged global citizens. The summaries that you will read in the graduation program and the short citations that I read aloud today are only a very brief overview and cannot hope to do justice to the years of research that have been carried out. They do indicate, however, the depth and breadth of our finest. Would the Doctors of Philosophy please come forward? Will Stanford Abbas. Will Stanford Abbas's project analyzes period drama productions in the 2010s British television, establishes a post-heritage critical framework, and uses six case studies to assert a cycle of progressive representations of the past in television drama. Chancellor, I present Will Stanford Abbas to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Media Studies. Alex Beatty. <laughs> Alex Beatty's research examines how disconnecting from the internet can be undertaken with technology and the political and social ramifications of living without social media. Chancellor, I present Alex Beatty to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Media Studies. Tegan Brown. <laughs> Tegan Brown's research explores how parents respond when their child is involved in relational bullying and argues for a cultural shift in the attitudes towards bullying that permeate the New Zealand context. Chancellor, I present Tegan Brown to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. Rana Dawood. <laughs> Rana Dawood's research uses complexity theory to identify the factors that contribute to student use of digital devices for learning in the classroom setting. Chancellor, I present Rana Dawood to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. Jaya Foster. <laughs> Jaya Foster's research examines the visual art of the British Tamil artist MIA 
and analyses her memory work with regards to the Sri Lankan Civil War. Chancellor, I present Jaya Foster to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Media Studies. Rebecca Galbraith. <laughs> Rebecca Galbraith explores a new concept in critical theory known as the anonymous mode. Using historical ideas around anonymity, gender, and authorship, and discovers its creative value to literary criticism and gender and sexuality studies. Chancellor, I present Rebecca Galbraith to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in English Literature. <laughs> Ho Jung Hao. Ho Jung Hao's research explores Vietnamese postgrad students' experiences of everyday life and study in New Zealand to better understand what difficulties they encounter and how they deal with them. Chancellor, I present Ho Jung Hao to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. Catherine Jewell. <laughs> Catherine Jewell's research examines how stereotypes work when used to describe the antagonist characters in Terry Pratchett's Witches Disc World novels and finds them crucial to the reader's engagement with the ethical concerns of the novels. Chancellor, I present Catherine Jewell to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in English Literature. <laughs> Karen Lisa Palmer. Karen Lisa Palmer's research centres on two original theatre plays developed with and for young people and devises a theatre model that increases agency and empowerment and places young people at the centre of the work. Chancellor, I present Karen Lisa Palmer to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Theatre. Karen Saunders. <laughs> Karen Saunders' research explores ways Pākehā secondary school mathematics teachers can facilitate positive interaction with Māori students and their whānau, using an ako-based teaching strategy to increase Māori student engagement and achievement. Chancellor, I present Karen Saunders to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. Tran Tri Tri Lian. <laughs> Tran Tri Tri Lian's research provides a deeper understanding of how teachers' classroom oral English influences the teaching and learning of English as a foreign language, proposing evidence-based recommendations for learning and teaching within Vietnamese classrooms. Chancellor, I present Tran Tri Thri Lian to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. <laughs> Jung Nok Min.
Jung Nok Min's research investigates perceptions of plagiarism among Vietnamese and New Zealand educated postgraduate students, seeking to identify and explain factors influencing their perceptions. Chancellor, I present Jung Nok Min to the degree of Doctor Philosophy in Education. Tova. Tova's study examines the use of digital technologies in an English medium instruction context in Vietnamese higher education to better understand how teachers and students experience a globalised context of English medium instruction. Chancellor, I present Tova to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education. You will notice that our new PhDs have moved to sit with the university staff. This acknowledges their academic achievement and welcomes them to the College of Academics. We now move on to honouring graduates from the Wellington Faculty of Education to Fano o Akapai. The Chancellor will congratulate the graduates as they process. The Dean of the Wellington Faculty of Education, Professor Stephen Dobson, will announce each graduate. The Associate Dean Academic, Dr Michael Johnson, will present their certificates. Will the Masters of Education please come forward? Mylin Baltazar. <clears throat> Ryan Canning. <clears throat> Kriti Chopra. Joshua Fielding. <laughs> Simon Flockton. <laughs> Catherine Heapy. <laughs> Chi Ai Fang Hoa. Leah Fortune. <laughs> Tina Mare Marco Koa. <laughs> Elizabeth McLean. Jeffrey Metric. <laughs> Victoria Mary Elizabeth Mitchell. <laughs> Sonica Marain Singh Ghani. Man Anya Ozua. <laughs> Michel Pelay. <laughs> Tanya Shan.
Alicia Specking. Lynn Stanton. Christina Tipper. Sania Valiavental Paulos. Sarah Warnock. Susan West. Will the Masters of Educational Psychology please come forward? Taylor Alexander Crawford. Wendy Bailey. <laughs> Hannah Bushby. <laughs> Georgia Davies. <laughs> Tessa Davies. Holly Davis. <laughs> Hayden Flanagan. <laughs> Justina Hotscott. <laughs> Lauren McNeil. Kira Mintoff Jones. <laughs> Catherine Rose. <laughs> Rebecca Rose. <laughs> Emma Saul. Jean Aubrey Sison. <laughs> Nicole Top Anan. <laughs> Crystal Walsh. <laughs> Michael Watson. Cassidy White. <laughs> Will the Master of Secondary School Leadership please come forward? Murray Saunders. <laughs> Will the Masters of Teaching and Learning Primary please come forward? Max Allen. Rianne Natalie Baker. Anna Breen. Rita Dees Adieu. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, Violet Geras. Georgia Griffith. Grace Harcourt. Claire Hartnell. Meretta Hay Neham.
Robert Heaps. Morag Hockey. Courtney James. Matthew Kelly. Ronan Kelly. Alicia Pearson. Jacob Poole. <laughs> Sophia Reed. <laughs> Madeline Smith. <laughs> Nadine Smythe. Mihal Sol. Trent Taylor. Kate Winiana. Katrin Visa. Monica Zuba. <laughs> Will the Masters of Teaching and Learning Secondary please come forward? Arthur Adam. <laughs> Kimberly Bellos. Prudence Driver Stimson. <laughs> Emma Gardenia. <laughs> Adrienne Green. <laughs> Hayley McConaughey. Pooja Molachan. Corbin Mortensen. Shemay Ren. Tirangi Skerit White. Smith Woodard. <laughs> Siobhan Weaver.
Maria Williams. Will the Bachelors of Education Teaching Early Childhood please come forward? Dina Allen. Joshua Allen. Joshua Allen. Laura Lee Blythe. Lucy Booth. Sally Cussy. Olivia Dawson. Olivia Dix. Tennessee Eccleston. Ave Bayer Alicia. Jessica. Jessica Fryer. <laughs> Jessica Gore. <laughs> Carolyn Gorman. <laughs> Zainad Guleb. Chelsea Hart. Rebecca Hazelwood. Ifra Hari. Matthew Houghton. Georgina Hulakis. <laughs> Emily Jacobson. <laughs> Claudia Jordan. <laughs> Katie Joe. Derek Laili Lie Far No. Briar Lewis. Hannah Pilcher. <laughs> Katie Regan. <laughs> Ed.
Shannon Smith. Georgia Tuatini. Emily Wright. Sophia Zawada. Our first musical interlude this evening is an instrumental piece composed by Harold Arlen. That Old Black Magic will be performed by the New Zealand School of Music Jazz Trio with Ella Dunbar-Wilcox on vocals and piano, Seth Boy on bass and Lennox Grotjens on drums.
Thank you to the wonderful Ella, Seth and Lennox. The Pro-Chancellor, Dr Diane McCarthy, will now congratulate further graduates from the Wellington Faculty of Education to Fano o Akapai. The Dean of the Wellington Faculty of Education, Professor Stephen Dobson, will return to announce each graduate. The Associate Dean Academic, Dr Michael Johnson, will return to present their certificates. Will the holders of the Postgraduate Diploma in Education please come forward? Kevin Jose. <clears throat> Manjit Kaur Bali. <clears throat> Sangeeti Shastri. Will the holders of the Postgraduate Diploma in Educational Psychology please come forward? Santina Castellanos. <clears throat> Emily Christians. Yes! Also graduating with a Master of Educational Psychology, Sally Curtis. Also graduating with a Master of Educational Psychology, Maria Garondes. Jane Irwin. Also graduating with a Master of Educational Psychology, Ulani Khan. <clears throat> Jennifer Lee. <clears throat> Naomi Powell Hector. Will the holders of the Graduate Diploma of Teaching Early Childhood Education please come forwards? John T. Cook. <clears throat> Joanna Kuma. <clears throat> Aud Luciac. Gabriela Sinton. <clears throat> Gretel Wright. <clears throat> Lee Shu. <clears throat> Will the holders of the Graduate Diploma of Teaching Primary please come forward? Sandra Allen. Madison Baird. <laughs> Lucille Bambury. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie Benz. <laughs> Sarah Jane Blake. Taylor Burnside. <laughs> Harriet Burrell. <laughs> Josie Carson. <laughs> Alexandra Clearwater.
Michael Cuthbertson. Alison de Kock. Samantha Dyke. Paolo Fae Uher Asal. Catherine Goodwin. Amy Grant. Cassie Hales. Jasmine Hanley. Mike Havel. Gurumit Haya. Sarah Jenkins. Rebecca Kome. Also graduating with a bat also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, Jacinta Lau. <laughs> Carissa Larissi Talbot. <laughs> Simon Lind. Erica Little. <laughs> Zinat Mahmoud Kora Rud. <laughs> Gina Manning. <laughs> Claudia Marshland. Kai Rory Gun Guniti no. Marta Mesui Kola Ma Martini <laughs> Billy Mofat. Isabel Murray. <laughs> Bavik Patel. <laughs> also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, Emily Plunkett. Flavio Ramonde Bun Kunz. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, Julia Reich. Jessica Centafane.
Sarah Talbot. Sarah Taylor. Philo Tefa Leoy Polo. Mitchell van der Kulwick. <laughs> Ariana Venu. <laughs> Yasmin Vosper. <laughs> Devon Ward. Phoebe War. <laughs> Samantha Wed. <laughs> Imogen Williams. <laughs> Ruby Willis. Will the holders of the Graduate Diploma of Teaching Secondary please come forward? Vishal Anthony. <laughs> also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, Mouyen Bai. <laughs> Ian Barber. Richard Cruz. <laughs> Joseph Dork Durkin Gorman. <laughs> Charlotte Glucina. Joseph Graham. <laughs> Oliver Greening. <laughs> uh, Joshua Hales. <laughs> India Herman. Chelsea Hickey. <laughs> Jordan Eastheed Haig. <laughs> Niti Ayer. <laughs> Amy Johnson. Keegan Maywood. Samuel Moon. Alex Murdoch. Scott Murphy.
Yep. Saraf Nakash. Madison Nicole. Fatima Rashidi Mardini. Olivia Rimbaud. Rihan Sharif. Jingwin Shalu. We now move to honouring graduates from the Wellington Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences to Wahanga Aranui. The Pro Vice Chancellor, Humanities and Social Sciences and Education, Professor Jennifer Windsor, will announce each graduate. The Associate Dean Academics Programs, Associate Professor Eust de Brun, will present their certificates. The Pro Chancellor will congratulate these graduates. Pro Chancellor, will the Master of Arts please come forward, Anna Jensen. Will the Master of Communication, also graduating with a Bachelor of Arts, please come forward, Gemma Sargent. Will the Bachelors of Arts with Honours please come forward, Alana Bradbury. Bobby Braxton. Olivia Deacon. Brooke Ellery. Neve Hollis Locke. Brooke Hannah Salsby. Will the Bachelors of Arts please come forward? Georgia Akwe. <laughs> Thomas Aitchison. <laughs> Rosalind Anderson. <laughs> Nicole Ashton. Carolyn Atkinson. Yeah. Timothy Avery. Yeah. Anna Barker. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel Barker. Jessica Bazalo. <laughs> Hugo Beale. <laughs> Michaela Emily Beer. <laughs> Tachana Betham.
Mina Bixley. Otilly Bleakley. Hannah Bremer. Rebecca Bridge. Aria Brighton Mills. Hannah Britton. Simon Brown. Catherine Emily Bruce. Millicent Brunel. Jasmine Bryan. <laughs> Millie Burton. <laughs> Kate Campbell. <laughs> Poppy Carter. Matthew Casey. <laughs> Sophia Chan. <laughs> Jeremy Chukujama. Caitlin Clay. Grace Connery. Leata Connor. Olivia Cook. Harrison Crook. <laughs> Olivia Cull. <laughs> also graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce, Molly Tallulah Daly. <laughs> Jemima Dawson. Ella de Blois. <laughs> Olivia Di <Dee> Gregorio. <laughs> Gabriel Deruth. <laughs> Rebecca Deru. Alfred Dennis. Sarah Louise Dixon. Emma Doyle. Olivia Lucy May. Maggie Drennan. <laughs> Sophie Duggan. <laughs> Oliver Duke. <laughs> Emily Dunstan.
Gretchen Elliott. Tiara Esera. Sarah Falkenhoek. Geneva Fansler. Harris Findlater. Zoe Finlayson. Tom Fitzgerald Lowe. Juliet Fletcher. Kaylee Fraser. Chelsea Gardner. Rebecca Gendel. Campbell Giddens. Zoe Gilmore. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Design Innovation, Lucas Gosling. Jody Gray. Laura Gray. Caitlin Green. Rhiannon and Greer. Emily Griffiths. Ruby Griffiths. Alexander Guy. Jed Hagger. Lola Hall. Helen Hallis. Rebecca Hansen. <laughs> Who are your whole papa? Katie Heron. Rebecca Hay. Laura Haycoop. Madeline Hill. Also graduating with, graduating with a Bachelor of Design Innovation, Maya Hill. Kate Hillman. Nina Hogg. Tony Hoggard. Laura Howells. Kate Hudspeth Gooch. Maeve Hughes. Anne 
Annie Hutchison. Please welcome back the New Zealand School of Music Jazz Trio to perform our second musical interlude this evening, Sunny Side of the Street. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can you hear a bitter pat that comes? And that lucky tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. I used to walk in the shade with those blues on. Crossing over if I never had a cent I'd be rich as Rockefeller With gold dust at my feet On the sunny side of the street So grab your coat and get your hat Leave your worries on the doorstep Just direct your feet to Side of the street. Have you heard a bitter pad that comes? And a lucky tune is your step. Life can't be so divine on the sunny side of life. I used to walk in the shade with those blues on. over if I never had a cent. I'd be rich as Rockefeller with gold dust at my feet on the sunny side of the street.
Aren't they wonderful? Thank you so much to Ella, Seth and Lennox. The Chancellor will now congratulate further graduates from the Wellington Faculty of Humanity and Social Sciences, Tawahanga Aranui. The Dean of the Faculty, Professor Sarah Leggett, will announce each graduate. The Associate Dean International, Associate Professor Alexander Buck, will present their certificates. Will the Bachelors of Arts please continue to come forward? Ifra Jama. Esteban Jaramillo Ulloa. Amy Jeffries. Bethany Jones. <laughs> Teresa Jones. <laughs> Zara Kashkari. <laughs> Bree Keatley. Sebastian Kerribs. <laughs> Pratiba Kokara. <laughs> Kuk Lam Tung. <laughs> Oliver Knott. Kitty Koning. <laughs> Zenthi Corey. <laughs> Teherinui Koteka. Casey Lestrange. Charlotte Lake. Also graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce, Ruby Langstone. Brooklyn Leota. Anna Lewis. Amber Linturn. Ella Little. Olivia Ludgate. Abigail Lyons. <laughs> Annabelle Marsdam. <laughs> Estelle McAdre. <laughs> Alia Marshall. Maxwell Martin. Yeah. 
Lily Ellen Massenhine. Samuel McCarthy. Ella McDonald. Felipe McDonald Cuevas. Briarly McGee. Brianna McGee. Mia McIver. Rebecca McKenzie. Aidan McLaughlin. Louis McMillan Grant. Amy McPhail. Jonathan McPike. Yay! Hannah Mates. Yay! Also graduating with a Bachelor of Commerce, Elizabeth Mitchell. Yay! Jack Mitchell. Laurel Mitchell. <laughs> Rebecca Moss. <laughs> Kerry Ann Moss. <laughs> Job Negrampa. Han No. <laughs> Daryl Nitschke. <laughs> Liesel Nautier. <laughs> Caitlin O'Connor. Angela O'Kane. <laughs> Rafael Ortiz Olmos. <laughs> Tui Parata. <laughs> Olivia Paulin. Daisy Pinfold. <laughs> Joshua Philipson Bettersby. <laughs> Michaela Pihama. Samantha Piper. <laughs> Corbin Poynton. <laughs> Arjun Pohl. <laughs> Natasha Poglaze. Larissa Postuma. <laughs> Ashna Pratika Kumar. <laughs> Lee 
Yasu Pulami. Joanna Wilson. Cree Rohihi Betty. Jasmine Redpath. Lucy Rhodes. Ashley Ridgeway Kane. Nicola Rees. Heather Rebilliad. Hayley Robinson. Laura Rose. Charlotte Rowe. Leah Rust. Janica Rutherford Busk. Mary Sadler. Saunders. Edie Scott. Devon Scown. Capri Sikkim. Thomas Circum. Gwen Simmons. Samantha Sinclair. Jenna Small. Alicia Lowe Stace. Shania Faith Stapp. Beatrice Abbott. Lauren Stevenson. Andalee Stevens. <laughs> Natasha Story. <laughs> Charlotte Strang. <laughs> Jessica Tibbs. Alexandra Templeton. Gemma Thorpe.
Wesley Tia Tia Farani. Emma Tibble Gotts. Charlotte Tilliard. Daniel Tyther. Monique Tobin. Megan Thompson. Taylor Taffery. Phoebe Tekoro Tumai. Alilia Parker. Jessa Turnbull. <laughs> Daniel Upchurch. <laughs> and Lisa Usualii Jensen. Molly Waddington. Emma Wadsworth. Tane Wahitapu. Evie Walker. Ursula Walker. <laughs> Imogen Wara. <laughs> Emma Ward. <laughs> Madeleine Watson. Isabel Wellsford Ackroyd. <laughs> Brendan White. <laughs> Shay Wildgoose. <laughs> Laura Williams. Ashton Williams Dello. <laughs> Nakisa Wilson. <laughs> Melanie Young. <laughs> Gemma Wilcock. Sophie Welt. <laughs> Jamie Yi. <laughs> Ashley Young. <laughs> Jill.
Zhang Zushang. Piper Zimmerman. Will the holder of the postgraduate diploma in communication please come forward, Krishna. Will the holder of the graduate diploma in arts please come forward, Anya Wood. Traditionally, each graduation ceremony features an address by one of our newest graduates who speaks on behalf of their peers. This honour is awarded to someone who during their time at our university has exemplified the qualities that we seek to instil in all our graduates. This evening's address will be given by Josh Allen, who has graduated with a Bachelor of Education in early childhood teaching. While he was studying, Josh co-founded the Only Education Club, VUWECE Quality. This club advocated for diversity in teacher education, shared knowledge and strategies to support students both mentally and academically within the degree program, and promoted early childhood education and the early childhood education degree at Victoria University of Wellington and within high schools around Te Whanganui Atara. Josh is a volunteer mentor for Kids Camp, an organisation supporting and mentoring Tamariki in Aotearoa. During his studies, Josh was an active member of the Faculty of Education's Advisory Committee and has just become a recipient of the Teacher Education Excellence Award, which acknowledges outstanding students who've excelled in their academic studies. This year, Josh is beginning his master's degree in education at Te Haringa Waka. Ladies and gentlemen, please join with me and welcome Josh to give the graduate address. Tina koto, tina koto, tina koto katoa. Ki a papa tia nuku te fire e ta koto nei, tina koe. Ki a rangi nui ki runga ra, tina koe. E te fare e tau nei, tina ano huki koe. Ki na tini mate, haide, haide, haide atura. Ki te hunga ora ara ki a tato katoa e tini po. Tina ano huki tato kato. Ko tahi te kākano hi nui na hua o te rākau. Nō te whanganui a tāra ahau, ko koukou, toku monga, ko korimako, toku awa. Ko te hininga waka toku marae, ko Alan toku ingoa whānau, ko Barbara Rawa, ko David Okumatua, ko Sam Rātou, ko Hamish, ko Oli Okutuakana. Ko kai whara-whara toku kaina anai nei, ko Josh Allen taku ingoa, tēnā tātou katoa. Ko te koruai o te kaihanga, ko te koruai o te rangi marie, ko horina mai e runga i a tātou. E nā manahuri o nā hau e whā, e nā waka o nā tai e maha, e nā whānau wānui, e nā iwi o te motu, e nā iwi mai a tāwahi. E nā iwi o te moana nui a ki wā, e nā mana huri tuarangi, e nā mana, e nā reo, e nā kārangaranga maha, tēnā ano huki tātou katoa. Ki a tātou katoa, ko a hui hui mai nei, ki a hora te marino, ki a whakapapa paunamu te moana, 
ki a tere te kā rohi rohi i mua i a koutou huarahi. Wānau, wānau. Hare mai te huki. Haumie, huie. Haumie. Ko te kaupapa o te wā, ko te whakamana mana i a mātou, nā akunga, nā i tauera, mena a huatanga o te heringa waka, te whare wānanga o wiki o te rā, noku te whiwhi, noku te honore, ki te tū, ki mua, ki a koutou e te pau nei, ki a pere. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. We will never forget this moment in our lives. Through all the mahi, sacrifices, caffeinated field nights, financial struggles, and not to mention a global pandemic, which resulted in many a painful Zoom lecture. <laughs> you know, where someone would forget to turn off their mic or the Wi-Fi would just cut out right mid-sentence. We hung in there through it all and can now take a moment to feel proud that we have made it to this point. We are empowered in this moment. Knowledge is power and a degree comes with a power of its own. We are in the 35% of New Zealanders with a bachelor's degree or higher, and this is significantly less in many other countries around the world. The next challenge for us now is to decide how we use this newfound power. I believe we have options to either accept the world and communities we live in or to change them to create more equal, sustainable, and just ones. The term slash concept of whakamana has been a key reason for me being here tonight. Whakamana as a word has two parts, whaka, to cause something to happen, and mana, which Whaya Rangi Maria Rose Pere would suggest is beyond translation, but is based off a person's divine right, their influence, and their prestige. So the concept is based off empowerment and validation. It is at the heart of Te Whaariki, the New Zealand Early Childhood Curriculum, and is a pretty incredible mantra for approaching this next step in our lives. If we can act in empowering ways in our mahi, we will probably care for it more, therefore have more success, create equal workplace environments, and enjoy what we're doing. If we act in empowering ways to ourselves, we will treat ourselves with the respect we desire, sustain holistically healthy lifestyles, and show resilience in the face of future adversity. Because in quoting John Green, we are as indestructible as we believe ourselves to be. Finally, none of us would be here today without the support networks from our Fano, friends, work family, and the incredible lecturers and faculty we have had around us over the course of our degrees. For many years, I battled through an education system, as many of my peers may relate to, with dyslexia. My self-esteem was low, and I didn't even achieve UE. But through aroha, manaki, and whakamana from my parents, who never let me believe I was not good enough, my brothers for keeping me honest, my sister-in-law Claire for empowering me to feel worthy, my partner Becky for being the rock to my kite, and my mates for keeping me inspired. Also my classmates, specific Derek, Lee, Derek Leliafano and Georgia Tuatini for saving me numerous times throughout the course of the degree. It is now the time that we empower the people and places that have been supporting us to getting here to this point. As Herini Melbourne would say, Afi mai, afi atu tato, tato e. This is our time, and let's take hold of our futures. I wish to finish with an excerpt from the late inspirational leader, Faya Rangi Maria Dose Pere. Ao kite aurangi, aroha kite aurangi, koa kite aurangi, pono kite aurangi. Peace be upon the world, love be upon the world. Joy be upon the world, truth be upon the world. Thank you very much and enjoy your nights. Thank you. Thank you, Josh, for those very, very fine words, and also for the challenge um, to use uh, the power of, um, uh, of the knowledge and the skills that you've gained at the university 
to uh, change the future and make it a fair and more just place. And I'm sure that we'll be hearing a lot more from you. Your enthusiasm is very infectious. We wish you all the best. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening has been a celebration of the achievements of our graduates and is a formal acknowledgement of their admittance to the community of scholars at this university. Although you may have completed your association with Tehuranga Waka Victoria University of Wellington as a student, you are now officially a valued member of the university's alumni community and we look forward to staying in touch. Some of our most distinguished alumni share our pride in your success and they have a few words of wisdom they wanted to share. Congratulations to all of you. Graduating is a significant milestone in your life and it's one you'll always remember. It marks a huge achievement. So please, take some time to celebrate your success with the friends and family that have supported you. He kōrero whakamihi anō, ngā manakitanga pai mō o mahi he whakamua. Congratulations once again. Best wishes for the work ahead. Graduating is a milestone that you and your family should all enjoy it. Live the day. A big shout out to all the uh, graduates uh, this year, particularly those um, graduating in the arts and history and in law and a special mention to my Pacifica brothers and sisters. Congratulations to you all. The world awaits. You've got all kinds of fabulous lessons, curiosity, hope and exploration. So get out there and get amongst it. Now's the time to relax a little for a few weeks, but then you've got to finish the job. Uh, remember, you had a dream. That's why you started those studies. And uh, you'll be at some crossroads in the future. Don't back down. Uh, be courageous. Give that dream a chance and finish the job. Congratulations on graduating. You may not even see it as that much of an achievement right now, but when you look back later in life on it, you will see that it genuinely is well done. So, congratulations to all the graduates. Go forward and lead us. I'd like to congratulate all the new graduates. Keep learning. Never let a learning opportunity go by. Well, you've done it, and you've done it well. Have a bit of a break and have some fun, strenuous or rowdy or soothing. Walk the hefe, invent a cocktail, or sort out your sock drawer. Yeah, you're here, you've done it. I don't know what obstacles you and your whanau have overcome to be here, but I do know that this is an amazing achievement that will change your life. Your career is going to be an incredible adventure. So take the opportunities, be fabulous, enjoy the ride, and most importantly, be nice to your parents. This is a huge accomplishment for you all, and I guess you'll have a, a pause to restock, but it is a really exciting time of your life heading out into the workforce and looking for new career paths. Well done, everybody, on entering the ranks of the graduates of Victoria University of Wellington, uh, and well done also on the hard work that you've uh, had to perform over the last few years to get to this point. Now it's time to go out and get a job. Wise words, it's the job, but not the sock drawer. <laughs> uh, before I bring things to a conclusion, I'd, I'd like to ask you all to join me in thanking some special people who've made this uh, such a wonderful event. Firstly, to our Kapahaka group, and also our talented musicians. I particularly would like to note Ella and Samuel, who graduated this afternoon, and instead of going off to the faculty of Courtney Place, they're here to um, share their talents with us and make this a memorable occasion. Please join me in welcoming them. Thank you. And uh, there's another special group without whom this occasion would not be the special event it is, and that is to our staff and volunteers who marshal all of our graduates out the back, make sure they come through the stage looking their very best and making sure this is well organised and a special occasion it is. Will you please join me in thanking our fantastic staff and volunteers.
And I'd like to thank all of you for making this such a special occasion. I say to everybody, if you want to come to a great ceremony, come to a humanities and social sciences and education ceremony. <laughs> they are always the most colourful and interactive, and it really does make it a, a wonderful occasion for everybody and our graduates. So thank you. We end each graduation ceremony with the singing of Gaudi Amos. Gaudi Amos, or So Let Us Rejoice, is a traditional student song based on a medieval Latin manuscript. And I was advised just earlier today by a couple of our German scholars, it is also a song that uh, German fraternities sing while drinking lots of beer. <laughs> so, you'll all be joining in strongly. This is a song that is sung at university graduation ceremonies around the world to celebrate academic success. Samuel McKeever will return to lead the singing accompanied by Ben Kennedy. The words appear on page 84 of your program and on the screens. Can I please ask you to stand and welcome Samuel and Ben. Thank you. remain standing. Friends and whanau here today to honour the achievements of our graduates, please remain standing while both the official procession and the procession of graduates leaves the auditorium. Mm -hmm. 